come out this morning, do a little scout, see uh, what what's moving in the area, have a look around, uh, just have a enjoyable day in the woods, really. Our half-face shelter that we've been working on is over this way. Oh, not too far off, but it's still a pretty good walk over there. Uh, we might swing over there, see how that's going. Um, basically, no plans, just uh, out for a day in the woods. Like I said, it's uh, pretty cold this morning, about 20 degrees. Uh, nice snow on the ground, some ice falling out of the trees, actually. So got to be kind of careful with our lock, make sure uh, keep it protected. Uh, this cold weather, you know, this traditional clothing is still very warm. Got my winter mocks on, wool leggings, wool waistcoat, wool sleeved waistcoat, uh, some wool stockings, just a linen shirt, a wool hat and gloves. So, uh, you know, no problems there. So let's go have a walk around, see what we can find. Uh, like I said, no plans for today, and I think uh, a lot of times that's just the fun in it. So let's get at it. Right, guys, I just uh, come through this uh, brush here, and I ran into one of the big hazards of a flintlock. The snow is falling off these branches, and I had a big glob fall right here on my lock. So there's no other thing to do then to check and change that priming powder wipe anything that could be damp off of that then reprime I do not want to get on some game and go to fire and have a wet prime in my fowler so I'm going to have to be a little more careful of that I could put on my cows need to protect this but I'm just going to tuck this up lock up under my arm to keep uh, any more snow from getting in there alright guys this is exactly what I'm out looking for here's some fresh squirrel tracks on this log it goes over here you can see that log crosses this trail coming out of this grove of beech trees and there is squirrel, rabbit, and deer tracks all on that same trail coming right out of there. So this is exactly the kind of places I'm looking for. Alright guys, I stopped here. I'm going to get me a bite to eat. And I cleared out a spot on the ground here. Made a fire lay just like I normally would. I do, uh, you know, a little bit of being picky to find some good dry stuff with this snow stuff to everything. Now, a good tender bowl uh, is getting pretty hard to find in this stuff. So I'm going to just get this going with what's already in my fire starting kit. I need my char tin. What I want to try to do is utilize my candle stub and some of my birch bark that's stuffed up, stuffed down in here. I do have one tender ball in here that's a real good one, but I'm going to try to save that. I'm going to take some of this birch bark. Get it. up under here so hopefully I can strike a spark light the candle with the wax and light my fire get my striker and my flint char I can spark down in this char tin until I catch something. There.
candle, lit my birch bark. I want to extinguish my char tin. I'll burn all my char up. Make sure that goes out and cools down. Put everything back in my fire starting kit. I surely don't want to lose any of it in this weather. There we, by having that candle stub, we really didn't have to have a real good uh, tender bundle. We had a little birch bark and that uh, candle got it going. Now if we had a marginal tender bundle, we could have used that candle to light it instead of trying to light it with a coal. But this is going to work just fine. I'm going to get this fire going and we'll uh, cook up some food here. Alright guys, I got a fire going decent here. Went and got me some water. What I'm going to get going for dinner here is inside my pan, you know, my bag of stuff. I got some cornmeal and some jerk. I'm going to do keep the smoke out of my eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of this jerk and put it down that water. Move over here out of the smoke. Take some of my cornmeal. this up that jerk's going to soften up and make kind of a broth and that cornmeal is going to thicken it a little bit spoon here put that down in the water I'm just going to set this here in my V my fire lay bring that to a boil and then it'll be uh, dinner I like to boil this until cornmeal turns soft and the jerk starts to soften up one thing about this you want to keep keep stirring it pretty good so it doesn't start sticking boil this down you see it's starting to thicken up some of the water boils off and that cornmeal starts to swell up and soften this would be a pretty thick filling soup we could season it if we want I actually have some uh, muscovado sugar that I'm going to add to it here when it's done cooking I think it'll actually be done here in a couple more minutes maybe so we're going to keep cooking, and we'll get back. Okay, guys, I think it's about time for this to come off. Pull this off here. You can see the consistency. It's thickened up. Cornmeal is actually turned soft. Just like eating uh, grits at this point. Jerky swelled back up. Softened up. So we'll set that off to the side, let that cool off for a minute. Get my fire going here again. After I eat my lunch, I'll probably make me something to drink and hang out here by this fire for a little bit and then uh, maybe go look for some squirrels or something here later not much moving now middle of the day so might just hang out here it's also be a real good time to uh, get some tinder to dry it out for the next fire so that'll be something to work on and uh, I'll get my stuff packed up here 
ready to go. I don't like uh, I don't like having my stuff out uh, unpacked for very long. I like to be able to grab my stuff and go at a moment's notice, whether I see some game or you know something goes on. Anyways, this sugar guys is just raw raw cane sugar. It's a lot bigger granules than you're used to with white sugar. It's got a real good real good taste to it. You see it's got some big granules, dark. I said I think it's got a real good taste. Use it to sweeten this up a little bit. Really makes it good. That stirred in there, melted down while it cools. So I'm gonna warm my feet up. Probably step off to the side and check the prime in my fowler and more than likely reprime. Make sure it's good to go. While this is cooling, then I'm gonna eat. Get my feet warmed up while I'm sitting here. And we'll figure out what we're doing next. It's cooled off enough to eat now. You see it's got a pretty thick consistency. Actually made probably a little too much. Mm. That sugar really sweetens it up, makes it good. You see the jerky swelled back up, reconstituted, you know. Uh, add some protein in there. Mm. That's good stuff. Hard to believe cornmeal and a little bit of jerk uh, makes that good a meal. Mm. Alright guys, I ate my dinner. Made way too much. I noticed in my kettle here I started getting uh, starting to get some nasty stuff in there so I just filled it up with water I want to boil it out these tin line containers like this you don't want to scrub them out too much you'll start taking the tin off so I just laid a stack of wood there to support that I'm gonna start boiling that out while I'm doing that I'm going to Sit here and stay warm by the fire for a couple minutes. Get a smoke in. Get my match burning here. So, I'll get my pot cleaned out here, and then uh, get that stuff put away, packed up, and I might actually get my match coat out, sit in the sun against this beech tree, and take a nap. I'm thinking that's kind of what the priority of the situation is dictating right now. So, we'll uh, see what happens after this. I got this pot of water boiling here got all the stuff that's been stuck to the sides of my pot here loose i'm just going to set that off to the side a minute make sure my spoon's good and clean before i put it away What I want to do is push this fire together here. I'll set that water off the side for putting this fire out. On my knapsack here that I made, 
on the uh, two straps I just tied my match coat to it. Just a couple wings tied it to the strap. I just tie this shut with a piece of strap that Buddy Darren made. Made it out of some hemp uh, cordage on a little loom that he built. Anyways, just my match coat blanket pen. I'm going to take that out. And I think what I'm going to do right now where the snow didn't blow around this tree I'm going to take this match to it. Put it around me. Get my gear there. I want to set up against this tree with my feet out by this fire for oh, 15, 20, 30 minutes maybe and stare at the back of my eyelids. So when I'm done with this part, we'll go do something else. Hi guys, I'm uh Ending this video, sitting in my living room beside the wood stove. Zeke is uh, happy to see me here. What happened was I took a little uh, nap there, and I woke up. And I put that fire out. I walked up on the path. I noticed the path, the sun had been shining on it, melted all that snow, and it was real muddy. Put that. <laughs> Wait. So, anyways. I had a pretty good ways back to the truck and then when I got to the truck I had to drive a pretty good ways on a dirt road to get out of there. So I hauled out of the woods there, got back to the truck and then took it real easy in four wheel drive to get out of there. <laughs> you quit. So that's what happened at the end of the scout. There was no time to uh, videotape anything. Um, once it got out from under them trees, you know, that sun had been shining. Melt in that snow. Will you quit? So anyways, that's the end of the scout. It's been Steve Davis Stillwater Woodcraft. Thank you for your views. <laughs> Thank you for your views. Thank you for all your support. We'll see you on the next one.